Yo, 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 welcome to The Dish. This is pre- pretty sure I'm right in saying that this is the first ever solo episode of The Dish. I don't think I've ever done an episode of The Dish just by myself. I usually, obviously, as you guys would know, if you have listened to this podcast before, would have my friends helping out to me. But there are a couple of reasons why this one is a solo one. Firstly, <laughs> because it was until like Thursday... Or like Wednesday, I think. No, I think it was Thursday that I realized, oh, this is a podcast episode week. Um, and I really, frankly, hadn't had the time to like set up a recording. And I did think it was fair to my friends to just be like, oh, either like by tomorrow, do you guys want to help me record a podcast episode? Um, I think that's disrespectful to their time. Um, the second reason why this is a solo episode is actually because i i think that the topic i've chosen for this episode is actually one i would like to tackle by myself and so i mean as you guys can see in the title you know what it is it is i actually don't know what my title is yet (laughs) i actually do not know what my title is yet but it has something to do with the fact that i believe that Everyone has been brainwashed into being obsessed with love. <laughs> and it sounds like I'm joking, but I'm actually being extremely serious. Um, so obviously, this past week was uh, Valentine's Day. And yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. It's all right. Like, my, I don't... What's it called? Personally, I don't really send for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Maybe because... Like, well-established fact, as most people who watch my channel would know, personally, I've never been in a relationship, right? So, I've never really had... I've... Oh, hmm. Valentine's Day has rarely ever been, like, a thing for me, personally. Um, I just don't really care about it. That being, like, to... What's it called? To kind of buttress that point, literally, this last Valentine's Day, I had a moose, bro. <laughs> a moose is basically a mock trial, as, as known as mock trial in some circles. So, yeah, I had a mock trial on Valentine's Day evening. That's how I spent my Valentine's Day. Thanks for asking. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's that's just, like, for me, anyway. But I don't think, I don't think, what's it called? Some people, people have different, like, reactions to Valentine's Day, right? And... Some people have a very kind of visceral reaction, kind of like, oh, you know, if they're alone, they're kind of just angry. <laughs> um, playingly or unplayingly, jokingly or jokingly, they're kind of just like, oh, bro, what life, what life, what day. Um, while everyone else who obviously is like in a relationship, they're there living it up or whatever. Which is fine, by the way. Like, you do you. I don't care <laughs> but i think it's funny that a lot of people do a lot of people do care um a lot of people like make jokes about like how or like on that day they're, they're like angry at everyone who's happy or whatever um and it's mostly a joke but i think when you actually have serious conversations with people you actually kind of realize how how many people are actually using jokes to like kind of hide what they're actually feeling and what they're actually feeling is why on earth am i alone and all of that that's for people who are not intentionally single personally i'm intentionally single so i don't really exactly anywho (laughs) y'all be safe (laughs) but anywho (laughs) Anywho. personally i'm intentionally single but anywho um i do but I, i do think it's very interesting because i think people um have Let's just call it spade a spade, right? I think in this generation, and potentially not just in this generation, but I think I, I can go out on a limb and actually say for the last couple of... Actually, what am I saying? Maybe even just for... Since the beginning of time, bro. Because I'm not gonna... Yeah, pro- quite possibly just since the beginning of time. People attach a lot of self-worth to being in a relationship. I feel like this particularly and i fully recognize by the way that that adversely affects women more than men that's just a fact (laughs) you know like it's more it's it's more likely to be a woman who's more like oh my days i'm not in a relationship and that means something um for my self-worth you know 
um you barely i mean i don't know i don't know if i'm wrong but i I'm, don't get me wrong there probably are some guys who think that they probably exist but i think you're probably more likely to find that thought pattern in a woman um and i actually think it's quite sad i think it's quite sad for a couple of reasons one i think we kind of subconsciously think or a lot of people subconsciously think that a relationship is something they need to complete them um and that's just that's going to go wrong for a whole lot of reasons i, I remember there's there's this kind of uh, uh i don't know whether it's a saying or whether it's something I, I heard somewhere but i think it's very very true about how rather than a relationship being two halves right coming together to make a whole that is to say to make you complete it's two holes coming together to make a greater whole um and I, th I think that's a really good way of looking at it i think if you're looking for for a relationship to complete you it's probably not going to work out just being just being very honest with you all it's probably not going to work out um how do you know you've never been in a relationship blah, blah, blah. i know <laughs> just trust me i know i've seen a lot <laughs> like literally it's just it's just not going to work out if you're looking for a relationship because you think uh oh, i need this relationship to like be complete i need this relationship to tell me something about the fact that oh yes i'm actually desirable or whatever then could it work <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's just not gonna work either it's not going to work in the sense that it's going to end in tears <laughs> or even if you don't end it you're not going to be happy in that relationship why because you're going to be looking for something which frankly you're not going to find it is what it is no human being no human being can complete you i'm so sorry it just is what it is and i think going back to how i said this adversely affects um women i think it's also mad because it's it's long when you kind of have to go against something that you've been hardwired into thinking your whole life so it's back to my joke about like oh people have been brainwashed into into this or whatever but low key though <laughs> like low key though you just think about like all the things that are low key like so you know subconsciously present <laughs> in your upbringing or whatever about things like for example your bride price or something like that you know um those all that's why your subconscious is your subconscious here you guys because you could listen to this right now and in your head right now you're like oh this guy is chatting was <laughs> like actually like saying absolute rubbish and then it might actually take you a couple of days until you have like a sec you have a thought about something and then you think oh actually yeah like this is actually ingrained into my subconscious that's why it's called your subconscious you don't know it's there um and it takes a lot of it takes a lot of self awareness or therapy or both <laughs> um to actually be able to unpick things that are in your subconscious um yeah i've lost my train of thought <laughs> this is i was about to say this is the problem of doing a podcast episode by myself but this happens a lot even when i'm doing a podcast episode with my friends <laughs> so that's a lie and we don't lie amen amen <laughs> if any who yeah no i do i do think that thinking a relationship can complete you it's just it's just yeah no that's just not the way to think about it and i think when something like valentine's day happens um and you have so many people you know making displays of their affection or whatever and you're there thinking like oh my days i need this or whatever um then yeah that is probably symptomatic of you thinking that you need a relationship to be whatever in my opinion i could be wrong i could be wrong i, I don't know at all you know i'm just giving my opinion here um but even it's funny because even <laughs> even so the people that are in these relationships right and do like the displays and everything and by the way i get it i get the whole appreciate your person whatever do all of that completely fine you know but if people are actually being real with themselves i think there's also an element to it of being like of just one doing number one doing it because other people are doing it fact 
and number two also like showing that yes i'm in a relationship you know just by the way y'all i'm in a relationship um if people are being very honest with themselves they would find that there's an element of that involved how do you know that's a very very good question you ask <laughs> but i think it's funny how so even people even people who for example are obsessed with the idea of like privacy in their relationship or whatever which is fair enough once again you do you you so on like valentine's day or something why would you for example post a um yeah yeah I remember what I, was, what I was going to say. So yeah, for people who are obsessed with the idea of like privacy in their relationship or whatever, some people, quite a few people actually, and I saw this from quite a few people, like I said, on Valentine's Day. Why, so why would you, for example, like post a picture of you like and your person, but without showing them? You know what I mean? Like, so if you're actually obsessed with the idea of privacy, if you're actually like, yeah, this is a private thing or whatever, why do you feel, feel the need to show that, oh, by the way, ha, 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 I'm actually in a relationship on this particular day. You get what I mean? At the end of the day, people can do whatever. I don't really care. But that is just, I'm just throwing it out there so that you can, like, think about it, basically. Um, and yeah, I, I do I do think that there are a lot of, there are a lot of elements to such, to such things, to such days. Um, but yeah, I don't think that in itself is a, it's not in itself a terrible thing, you know, but I do think that sometimes things are linked to principles and wider ideas that are potentially quite problematic, not just for you, but also for other people, right? Um, sorry, <laughs> no, but yeah. That is, that is that is actually what I think. So it's not like was my own, <laughs> you know. It, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to like even if I said ah all of you people blah 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 like stop posting your secrets relationship whatever was my business. <laughs> but like it is something to think about though. It's something to be like oh why do I feel the need to do this? You know when in reality if I actually do want privacy in my relationship I don't want like I don't want to show it in any way shape or form then I could actually just I could go whatever we could go on a date and no one needs to know you know <laughs> like apart from the waiter or whatever you know you could go somewhere you could just chill but yeah P I, I do feel like in this day and age especially because of social media people feel an, a need to kind of show sh show show <laughs> not even just relationships show things generally speaking and uh, anywho that's it that's another that's uh, an idea a conversation a discussion for another podcast episode entirely honestly i'm not even gonna lie because that thing i don't get it <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i don't get it why should i sit down for my meal no 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 no. well actually <laughs> i know i said this is just gonna another podcast episode but seriously why should i sit down for my meal and you talk to me i shouldn't touch the food because you want to take picture why <laughs> why by force <laughs> like actually by force <laughs> like why <laughs> you know like <laughs> I, <laughs> anywho let me not let me not let me not talk about that let me not talk about that in this episode but yeah um i do think that there are lots of there are lots of things which people need to sit with themselves and think about it and be like mm, actually this thing why she gets and especially that and so linked back to um what this episode is about about how um basically talking about why people are obsessed with love right um and so obviously there's also the there is also the fact that like a relationship is is cool i guess for like y'all that gets for people that get into a good healthy you know relationship then yeah it's cool you have a companion and you can you can chill and all of that like yeah it's calm but actually what are actually the what are the uh, because so apart from that right and this is going to sound this is going to sound very weird, right? But if that was actually what you wanted, if that was actually what you were desiring, then why not just seek intimacy in your friendships? And by the way, I don't mean intimacy in like 
I don't mean intimacy in the sense of like having I'll show you guys. I just mean intimacy as in having a proper proper deep having proper deep friendships. Right? And I feel like if all you want, if all you want is a companion, all you want is like you want a com- companionship, all of that, then yeah, there is not a whole lot that you get from being in a relationship that you won't get from a properly intimate, deep friendship, which is what I think friendship is anyway. And I think there's a lot, there's a lot there to kind of talk about. There's a lot there to kind of explore apart, like, Including the fact that I genuinely believe, comment what you think, right? I genuinely believe, I'm just going to offend some people because you're probably involved, but I genuinely believe that people are losing the ability to be good friends. I genuinely think so. I think we're we're becoming terrible at it. Absolutely atrocious at, at friendship, at this thing called friendship. I just think called relationships, generally speaking, I think we're becoming absolute, absolutely terrible. It's wild that in a world where we have everything to give us more access. So, for example, if I was in Japan right now and my dad is back in Lagos, Nigeria, I could pick up the phone and I could call him and we could talk even though we're not in the same place. That is good. You would think so, right? Objectively good for our relationship. And yes, I don't call my dad nearly as much as I should. It's true. It's true. I'm, I'm, I'll try. I'm trying to be better. You know, I'm trying to be better. And you, you just, you, you know, I'm not obviously not just my dad. Anyone, generally speaking, like anyone I have a relationship with, probably don't call them nearly as much as I should. And I think what it is, right? And I think this goes for a lot of people. And I think what it is, right, is when you have that continued access to something. It's just thinking, oh, I could just pick up this phone and I could call this person at any time. You kind of build a disregard to it, right? It's, this is a familiar concept. Familiarity breeds content. Very, very familiar concept. And so, because of that, and because we also have texting, we text with people on the go all the time, right? Just constantly texting, constantly texting. Meanwhile, we're not actually engaging in meaningful communication. So because we do that, we feel like we have constant access to people without actually having intentional, proper conversations with people. And as a result, I think friendships, relationships, generally speaking, are suffering, suffering. Because instead of us taking advantage of the fact that, yes, I have access to this person and so I'm going to be a better, be a better whatever, be a better daughter, son, friend whatever to this person who's not with me right now it's more so uh, i could give them a call at any time i could do this at any time you know and so we're actually lacking (laughs) actually seriously seriously lacking relation wise um and it's quite bad and that goes back to my point about how well if all you want from a relationship is companionship a good intentional deep intimate friendship does that like you you will have you can have a companion as a friend and i just feel like a lot of people actually don't have that because like i said we're all terrible friends <laughs> we're not we're all you know people try <laughs> and my friends try and me and my family try and i try and people you know people generally try but i think generally speaking as a society We've become terrible friends. <laughs> um, and terrible people to be in relationship with. Um, and that's interesting to me because... So, having that whole, right? Why do people then... Why are people then surprised when they enter into this so-called relationship, right? I mean, like, proper romantic relationship, which you so desire. You enter into that relationship. And you have the exact same problem why are you surprised because i mean why is it going to be any different and i don't don't mean to be deliberately obtuse by the way like i know that there are significant obviously well 
At the time when you're dating, actually, not really. But anywho, I know that there are differences between a um a a a partner, so to speak, romantically, and a friend. Don't get me wrong. I'm 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 not being just deliberately obtuse, right? I know there are differences. But in terms of the fundamental fun things, some things are fundamental, they never change. For example, being good at relationship. You can't possibly be. There is no way, no way. You're not going to be a good person in relationship with your friend. And then, no, sorry, wrong phrasing. You're not going to be a terrible person in relationship with your friend. And then you're going to be excellent in relationship with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. It makes no sense. It makes zero sense. Why would you expect that to be the case? Why don't you instead put in the work to actually be good? at relationship and i don't just mean relationship romantic relationship right put in the work to be good at you know what like i want to actually care about my friends i want to actually care about my family i want to actually you know i want to be good at this thing called relationship like why wouldn't that be the stance to take instead you know that's just that's just what i think because uh i think another thing about you know all the access we have is that we're really lazy actually (laughs) like you know i talk to people all the time who say oh i have an issue with reaching out i have an issue with like sometimes people ask me oh how do you how do you just like reach out to someone and i'm like what do you mean and they're like well i don't know like how, how do you reach out to someone i'm like i think about them and then i reach out to them and that's such a foreign concept to some people and that's okay. Some things come easier to certain people more than others, right? Point being, so why won't you then do the work to say, okay, I'm going to become better at this, you know, so that I can just generally be a better person to be in relationship with, not in the sense romantically, but just a better friend, a better everything, Okay. Why won't you do that work? And then, secondly, why would you expect it to be any different as to when you are then in a romantic relationship with someone? To me personally, that doesn't make any sense. I think if you're bad at a relationship, you're bad at a relationship. It doesn't matter the type of relationship, you're going to be bad at it. Um, and don't get me wrong, it doesn't. it's not going to be, partic- it's not particularly, oh, this is going to be an easy thing, you know? Cap. You're going to have to actually be like oh yeah I'm, I'm going to do this deliberately because I want to be better at relationship and so when those problems arise in a romantic relationship I'm not, su- I'm not surprised at all you shouldn't be surprised if you're a bad friend you're probably going to be a bad boyfriend or girlfriend it is what it is um, it, I, was, I was about to say it's not your fault but it is you could have put in the work to be better you know um and so yeah, that 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 shouldn't that shouldn't be a shock. That shouldn't be a surprise. It shouldn't be at all. But then there's the other idea of kind of people who actually do like treat their girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever differently to their normal friends. And where you're kind of just constantly, constantly to, like morning, evening, day, bro. Every, every single minute of every day you're talking to this person and firstly not actually not actually a lot is being said because you're just talking and not really talking about anything but you're just talking which is fair enough whatever and i mean the next question you'll ask is oh okay so how am i able to constantly communicate with someone i'm in a romantic relationship with but i'm bad at it with my normal friends so people say, oh, I just love that person more. No, you don't. I refuse to believe that. I don't think that's true. I think it's actually inherently false. I think um, people don't realize how easy it is to become <laughs> addicted to someone. Essentially. And addiction isn't love. This is a fact. Addiction is not love. It's easy to use someone to fulfill something. And because they're providing you that service, 
your brain becomes hardwired to basically receiving that service from that person and that's basically you know in your mind you can say oh i love this person or whatever no you don't in your subconscious what it actually is is you love the feeling that that person gives you for a lot of people it's the feeling of being loved it's the feeling of attention that they are addicted to they don't actually love that person they don't even they might not even like that person they actually just are addicted to the feeling that that person gives them and that's why a lot of people when they come out of a relationship they see a person for who they truly are and they're like wow this person is actually a really bad person this person is so, is so bad you know like this person has what's it what's it got narcissistic tendencies or something like that or it's like same thing with like people who their like partner turns out to be like a murderer or something and it's like how did i not know that this person had like tendency for murder bro <laughs> you know um and it's because you never actually saw that person for who they truly were reason for that is because you never fell in love with them you fell in love with the feeling that they gave you um so you get addicted to you get addicted to the service that they provide you with it becomes all the more techy if the service that they're providing you with is that sense of completion that we talked about at the beginning of the episode which is that i don't feel whole and i feel like i need this to complete me it's techy it's very very techy very very techy and it takes a lot of it it, it it takes a lot of self-awareness to actually realize that you're in this situation. I think it's more common than people realize. I think a lot of people enter into a relationship because they like the attention. They, enter into, they like the attention because they don't feel complete. They feel like they need the attention to feel like they're worth something. So in actuality, what you're dealing with is a self-esteem issue. And it's a bit like... It's a bit like being wrongfully diagnosed. It's like you go to, um, it's like going to the hospital, right? And you have, for example, you have malaria, but they give you cough syrup. It's not going to do anything, you know? It's going to just, <laughs> yeah, it's just not going to do anything. You may feel like you're doing something, you know, you take the cough syrup and everything, but you still have malaria, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not going to do anything. Um, and so, like I said, it's techie. And I, I don't have it. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not like, I'm not, I'm not coming to this podcast episode saying, ah, this is the solution. <laughs> you know, like, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's techie, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I do think step one is realizing that you're in that position. Or realizing that you actually, that's what you actually desire. If you don't desire a relationship for actual, what's it called? If you don't desire a relationship, number one, there are different levels to this. One, if you desire a relationship for companionship, are you a good friend? Do you have good friends? Number two, if you desire a relationship for wanting to feel whole, then do you actually want, do you, are you actually in love with the idea of just having someone pay attention to you? Do you just have like an extractionary extortionist view of love? You know, it's a very important question to ask, in my opinion. Um, and this is why I actually believe that people, before they get into a relationship anyway, should focus on themselves. We say this all the time as a joke, focus on yourself, whatever. I don't, but I actually do think it's very important. I think realizing these things is a is as a result of next level introspection introspection self-awareness all of that next level you have you have to literally sit with yourself for hours and be like what's going on you know um and then i think when you've done that and you realize okay i only want this for that for this or i'm only in this because of this then it becomes relatively clear what you need to do. I'm not telling any of you to break up with your people, but if the shoe fits. <laughs> if the shoe fits. But anywho, nah, it is what it is. Um, and don't get me wrong, right? I think the desire to be loved, the desire to 
you know, all of that. I think that's, I think that's a basic human thing. I really do. I don't think there's a single human being on the planet who won't tell you that they don't want to be loved. You know? Um, yeah, I think, I, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if that human being ex- exists. And the way I'm going to end this podcast episode is honestly, I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys what's, what's, what's worked for me. Uh, and how, despite the fact that, always, oh, yeah, I'm 19 and I've been single for 19 years. And despite that, people like, at, oh, bro, I remember at, I, was, I was talking to someone about, about it. And she was lamenting, or, you know, as, as a lot of people do, she was lamenting how she doesn't have a boyfriend. And she had, she had been single for, I think, three years or something like that. And I was like, bro, I've been single for 19 years. I'm perfectly fine. And she was like, ah, Pele, your case is special. And I was like, bro, no. <laughs> no, it's not a thing of pity. I actually think it's a very, very good thing. I've had 19 years to sit with myself, bro. <laughs> Since I, if I was more than 19 years. But anywho, um, you know, I, I, think, I, think, I think it's actually a gift, you know? Not that a relationship isn't a gift as well, but I think it's a gift for different reasons, you know? So what's worked for me? Like, what's, you know, what's the... What's it called? What's the... I don't even know what word to use, I beg. I'm tired. <laughs> but I honestly think, right? And I recognize that obviously not everyone watching this is going to agree. And that's fine. That's okay. But I believe and I have come to see and I've come to realize that there is a hole that nobody... And nothing will fill apart from the knowledge of Jesus. I'm honestly, I am convinced. Convinced. Utterly convinced. I mean, serious. I mean, very, very serious. Utterly convinced. I think at the end of the day, people, you know, you would find something that you would think, oh, this is it. You could find a person that you think, oh, this is it. At the end of the day, something's going to happen. Something, even if you, you are in the healthiest perfectly fine relationship something is going to happen at some point you would have a a day or that person will have a day or you would have a day that person you know may say a harsh word or whatever you may or may not be fine you may work it back some people are you know happily married for 80 years plus you know so having a disagreement is 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 not you know is not indicative that your relationship should end or anything what i'm simply saying is that at the end of the day, there you're gonna have to, you're going to have rough patches, rough patches. You know, every single relationship has that, not just romantic ones. But I'm I referenced romantic ones particularly in the context of this episode because we've established that a lot of people enter romantic relationships because they want a sense of worth or a sense of worthiness. And I think. You get that in the most special, complete way by knowing Jesus. You do. Learning about how this man went to a cross just for you. Insane. Insane. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's my whole thing, man. Um, everyone deserves to know in my opinion just how much Jesus loves them everyone deserves to know that Um, and I think you should you should definitely explore that for yourself but yeah thank you guys very much for listening Um, let me know what you guys think about this whole solo podcast thing you know maybe at a Maybe every now and again. I, I I think the primary format of the podcast would still, you know, be me and my friends and all of that. But let me know if you guys want to see more of these. If you liked this, obviously like it. Um, give us a rating if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Um, leave a like if you're watching on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a new video or podcast episode or all of that. And yeah, thank you guys for listening to The Dish. See you next time.